Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a monthly reading for February 2022. Um, I'm going to be starting with the tarot uh, spread and then we will pull some oracle messages for you at the end. As usual, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Um, please take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind for someone else, okay? Also, please go and check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. That will give you a well-rounded idea of what to expect in February. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I want to um, see what energies are going to be playing out for you. We're going to be uh, doing a Celtic cross for you today. Um, and so let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay. Spirit, what do we have for Aries? We start out with your energy, Aries, with the Emperor. Beautiful. This is the uh, main energy on the table, okay? Um, this is actually your energy as um, a leader, okay? Someone who is in authority. You could be a boss. Um, this is the, reading for the, the, the reason for the reading. So you could be a boss. You could be pursuing... Um, some sort of business venture um, as an owner um, of a business or you could be you know already in business um, let's see what is crossing you at this time now what's crossing you could be either um, something that's blocking you challenging you or something that could be assisting you so let's see beautiful we have the empress could be dealing with a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart okay um, this card is beautiful because it talks about growth so you could be as I said um, growing a business um, maybe growing your um, knowledge of something in a business or in uh, some sort of endeavor when it comes to a leadership position okay or you taking the lead on something that's going to be uh, growing so that could be an opportunity for you as well um, it is crossing you so there could be something here that um, if it's a challenge there's there could be something that's coming in that's going to be um, maybe creating a little bit of stagnancy when it comes to moving forward with something um, but we will clarify okay let's see what's occupying your mind at this time This is your conscious awareness. Okay. All right. We have two cards that um, showed. I'm going to put this one back. We have the world and the six of wands. Beautiful. This is you moving in the right direction. A new cycle beginning that's going to be very, very um, prosperous. It's going to be victorious for you. You are definitely going to be recognized for something. Um, there could be a lot of people who look up to you at this time, Aries, um, people who um, really um, admire your hard work, your leadership, and um, how you take care of business, okay? Um, this is also good news coming your way as well. You, you could be expecting news, but since this is in your conscious awareness, I do feel that you are um, very, very aware of the fact that um, you're on top of your game, okay? I feel that you are definitely on top of your game. You're currently working on possibly a new venture, bringing something into light, a new, you know, birthing something new. As I said, it could have something to do with business. It could have something to do with um, you taking the lead on growing a business or moving towards um, entrepreneurship or uh, even even a position um, at work. Okay, this doesn't have to be um, a job. I mean, it doesn't have to be um, a business. It could be a job. Okay, and you could be growing in that um, endeavor, whether it's business or job. Okay, all right. So let's see what is your um, what you are maybe unaware of or possibly um, feeling at this time. Okay, you could be. You could be, you know, knowing this and thinking about your your success, but let's see um, what's beneath that, what's underlying 
um, this success, this, this beautiful um, energy of you birthing something new. So we have the Six of Cups here. Okay, this to me talks about nostalgia. I do see a child on this card. Um, so you could be um, possibly feeling um, very sensitive about family at this time, maybe your children at this time. Um, you could, I don't know why I'm getting this, but I, you could be feeling a little bit guilty of putting a lot of work uh, into an endeavor and maybe not spending enough time with your kids. That's going to be a message for someone, maybe not everyone, because not everyone has kids and it's a general reading. Um, but I do feel that nonetheless, there's some nostalgia here about the past. Okay, so you could be reminiscing about the past and how it was in the past. I'm going to get, I'm going to get one more card for this. Okay, and so we have the Nine of Cups. So a lot of emotion here, and this is talking about your underlying feelings about, um, you know, the situation possibly here with your, your job, your, your work scenario, how you're bringing in um, money, but also how you're nurturing this, um, this new position or this um, position in your life that requires you to take lead on something. So this could also be talking about you taking lead in your own life when it comes to your family, when it comes to a wish fulfillment um, regarding family or regarding something, you know, having to do with kids or, um, you know, your, your family in general. Um, and I do feel here that you do feel that there is um, something that you can possibly lend to um, your kids in the future, um, like a legacy, right? Um, a legacy of... Um, not only wealth but an abundance you know because the empress the empress talks about abundance you can also um you know this can also be talking about you wanting to um to leave that legacy right um to you to your kids and having that wish fulfillment to grow something to that extent to where if anything happens to you your you know your family is taken care of okay um, so that's beautiful. Let's look at um, your recent past. We have the Ace of Cups here in your recent past. Now that talks about, um, the Ace of Cups can talk about self-love, but it can also talk about um, you coming into love, okay? Um, so I do have the High Priestess with Pisces energy here. Um, and there was something here in the past that required you to really hone in on your intuition. Um, the Ace of Cups, you know, talking about you going within to do the self-care um, next to the, the High Priestess is saying that you definitely uh, made sure that you were paying attention to all of the signs and synchronicities when it came to uh, love for yourself and for others and, um, you know, bringing love into your life from external uh, people as well, right? Allow Who you're allowing in your life, who you are allowing to surround you. Um, there also could have been, um, maybe, a, maybe some secrets here. Okay. As well, uh, we'll clarify, but I do see that there could have been some secrets here in the past between you and someone else. I don't see the two of cups, but, um, with the ace of cups here, this talks about love. So, uh, we'll see what that is. Um, this could also be just, uh, you know, finding the mystery of how, how to learn to, uh, to care for yourself and love yourself in, in times of need. Okay. Let's look at the immediate future. We have the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is someone who is uh, very uh, straightforward, very honest. There is that Ten of Cups. Okay. So we have the Nine of Cups here in your feelings, you wanting to, um, you know, pursue something that's going to leave a legacy, right, for your family or um, really bring in that happiness. And there is that Ten of Cups. There's that happy home, okay? Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, I do feel that if that's the case, then you're definitely trying to pursue something with maybe the, uh, one of those signs. Um, and this person could be uh, your spouse or future husband, wife, 
um, this is going to be the person who brings in this happy home or helps you to grow right uh, into uh, a beautiful couple right this is going to help you and them to continue to grow uh, together so I think that's very beautiful I do see this happy uh, happy family home um, I do see the two people that I had wondered about here with the ace of cups there are two people in this card so um, that tells me that there is definitely something uh, here about happy home in the future okay with this king of swords um, so let's go ahead and look at let's see what is going on here more deeply with uh, the Emperor crossed by the Empress now I want to make sure you understand that the Emperor and the Empress are a very beautiful um, divine masculine and divine feminine energy here okay so this can talk about this couple here between you and someone else I feel that there is very deep connection um, this could be um, a very deep love connection because we have the ace of cups here okay so uh, and we have the ten of cups here so you know this this is beautiful let's see uh, what your attitude is towards this connection let's see how you're feeling towards this person or this person uh, towards you We have the Queen of Coins. So I feel like there's a lot of stability here with this connection, okay? I do feel with the Queen of Coins being here that there is a very, very strong stability when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your home, um, even health. You all could be very uh, health conscious as well. So I do feel that there is a very, very um, grounded connection here between you and this person. Okay, that's beautiful. I love that. Very grounded connection between you and this person. I do feel that you both feel very secure in this connection as well. Okay, let's see what's influencing you or what could be surrounding you at this time. Okay, so there's the two of coins. There could be a decision that needs to be made here um, in order to progress forward. Um, or there could be, you know, feelings of um, juggling or, un you know, being unsure which which way to go when it comes to making a decision on finances. This could be also whether or not you want to buy a home. Um, you know, I'm feeling that there could be this, um, also this, if you're not married to this person, you know, do we want to move in together or should we wait, right? Even uh, should, if you don't have kids, should we have children or should we wait? Um, I really feel there's like this uh, deep connection with and discussions that are being had um, as to how to grow this family. I do see that there is um, a child in this woman's arms here. And so this could be talking about growing your family, okay? Growing your family, having children, um, and uh, even, you know, having pets, because those can sometimes be our children as well, because we have to take care of them the same, right? Um, yeah, this is a very, very uh, family-oriented reading so far, um, but on, on the flip side, I see how successful that you are in your endeavors when it comes to your work, your business, um, and so that's beautiful. Um, I want to look at um, your, your hopes and fears uh, to see what, what could be lying underneath all this. Hopes and fears. So you have the seven of wands. Okay, so you're, you know, you may feel like you're always on guard for some reason. I mean, if you own a business or you're a boss or you uh, make decisions in the family as the breadwinner, that's a lot to take on, a lot to have on your plate. So you could always feel like you're, you know, always having to uh, be on guard when it comes to um, decisions, when it comes to juggling, right, making the decisions or, or, um, leading the family in the right direction um, and you could also be feeling like you have to be um, a little bit guarded when it comes to um, you know having boundaries right not really being guarded but having good boundaries 
um, not only just with your family, but with people who are around you, people who you work with, um, people who are um, those who may want uh, a lot from you or expect a lot from you because you are so successful. Um, this card is really saying that, you know, you, you definitely are on guard. Um, your hopes are that maybe you don't have to always be that way, but, you know, you could fear that it's always going to be that way right? It's always going to, to feel like you have to be um, guarded for some reason, right? Or another. Um, it could be that maybe you are, um, because you are so successful, people really want your attention. People really want to poke and prod at you for answers. Um, and you're always having to feel like you have that obligation to, um, to answer questions or to, um, uh, you know, ans answer the the very, very dire questions that people have. Say, for example, if you're a doctor or you're a lawyer, you know, a lot of people always have those questions, right? Uh, instead of having to go and pay, pay for the answers, they have someone in the family, right, that knows and, you know, has studied. So easy access to you is probably something that you have to deal with, okay, on a regular basis. So, um, yeah, that's that's the feeling I get from that. So let's see what the outcome uh, is here. What what to look forward to in fe uh, February? What kind of um, opportunities or insights you may need to be aware of? The Ten of Coins. Yeah, lots of success here, Aries. I do feel here that there's this long, uh, long-term relationship between you and this person. I also feel that there is this legacy of leaving behind something um, of substance for your children. Not only all of your um, success that you you will be leaving behind, right? Uh, when your your kids are grown and and you leave the world, right? But this is also. Um, also, this this uh, longevity of hard work, um, you know, putting in all of the hard work when it comes to relationship, when it comes to money, when it comes to career, and really um, having that beautiful legacy overall of, of having a beautiful outcome when it comes to um, your money. I mean, it's there could be some very, very positive uh, investments that come through for you in February, maybe um, return on investment that leads to um, a really great uh, payout or a really great um, result, okay? Um, if you are into real estate, I'm not sure why I'm getting real estate, but sometimes that can talk about real estate as well. We do have the Queen of Coins um, out here as well talking about stability. So uh, if you are you know, buying or selling homes, that's gonna be very successful for you. Um, if you uh, are into, uh, you know, different types of investments like NFTs and index funds, mutual funds, stocks and bonds and such. Um, you definitely are going to be um, looking at those types of things. Bitcoin also comes to my mind as well. Um, investments in general are going to be very successful for you in February. So take a look at those as well. Um, so that is what I have for you. I want to pull some um Oracle messages. I want to see what uh, the animal oracle uh, spirit messages need to come out for you. Um, we'll start with that. Um, so far, though, um, Aries, if this reading is for you, uh, if it resonated with you, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button as well. That is very much appreciated. I do, I do also love to hear your comments. So make sure you comment below on the reading and share your thoughts and ideas with me and let me know what's going on with you. Okay. All right. Let's get an animal oracle for you and see what message needs to be relayed. Spirit, what do we have for Aries? A beautiful Aries, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Okay, 
we get one message. Beautiful. And look at that. It's the mama bear and her baby. It says black bear guardian. The message is gentle and wise protector. Give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones that I love and awaken my intuition and guide me. That's beautiful. Yeah, that reminds me of what we talked about here with your children, right? If you have children, um, this is, you know, the legacy that you will be leaving behind, but also the protection that you give to them while you're here in the 3D. This is beautiful. This energy really talks to me about that parenting um, quality, that love from a parent for their child. That's so beautiful. I love that. If you are not um, currently with child, you could be looking to have children. We have the Empress right in the middle of the reading. Um, so you could be looking to uh, get pregnant, uh, looking to settle down with someone who you are um you know, who, who you've been with for some time, because we do have the Empress and the Emperor. So if you're looking to have children, I do see that as a very, very um, possibility. That's a good possibility that you uh, are definitely going to be um, having children soon. Okay. Um, I do see that beautiful legacy here. So let's see what else we have to close the reading. What else do they need to know, Spirit? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The message is communication is key. So yeah, continue to communicate effectively with your loved ones and with the people um, who are around you. Um, and I know I said I was going to clarify um, the the Ace of Cups, and I have to just clarify that because I just looked down and I saw that I was going to clarify these cards, but I don't need to because I realized we had the Emperor and the Empress, and then we have the Ten of Cups out here, followed by the you know the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So this is you know not only the self love here, but this is really saying that you've done the work to go within and um, really really honed in on. Um, doing the things for you and the people who you love. Okay, there's someone here very specifically um, that I see. Now, I just wanted to go back and, and, you know, clarify that because we are already 22 minutes in. I would not be able to go in and clarify all of these cards without going into a 45-hour reading, a 45-minute reading, sorry. So, um, yeah, um, I want to also point out that I see Pisces out here. I see Aries, uh, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Taurus, Virgo. Um, yeah, so it could really be any of these signs. Um, I don't, I'm not really big on calling out all the signs because it's usually, you know, it just depends on the reading, but I, I, it could be any sign that you're dealing with here. Um, the overall message here today, though, is that uh, you are definitely birthing something new into fruition. You're very, very highly thought of, um, recognized, and, um, you know, you, there could be a lot here um, where you, as I said, have prestige, okay? There's, there's somebody here, I feel it's you, that is very prestigious in some way. Um, and it could feel like you always have to keep your defenses up or always have to ask, ask the questions or uh, help someone in your family or your friends with advice. Um, and it could feel, you know, a little overwhelming at times. So um, I do see that as well. Um, whatever is going on here for you when it comes to this juggling and your surroundings, it could just be, you know, making sure that you have all of your money right, um, the stocks that I talked about or all of the investments that um, I see in the future for you, um, that you're, you know, making sure those are those are all uh, managed correctly and, and with sound advice from financial professionals. Um, so make sure that you are, uh, you know, taking care of that. Um, so that you can eventually, uh, you know, find out, because I feel that you're going to find out that some great um, uh, new either opportunity or uh, result will be coming towards you um, in February when it comes to your money, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy. I hope that you guys enjoyed the reading. Aries, thanks for being here again as always. I love you so much. And until next time, guys, namaste.